All right, this could be interesting. This is the first time, the very first time, that I am attempting to spin up the motor using the electric starter. This is the first time all the cables are in place, the first time that the starter button is actually activating the starter relay. The relay is hooked to the battery and to the motor. The motor is properly grounded. If all goes well, it should spin the motor. That's assuming that there's nothing wrong with the electric starter mechanism inside the primary, which I have not taken apart and don't want to unless I absolutely have to. I've got the spark plugs out so there's no compression. I just want to see if the starter will spin the motor when I press the magic button. So here goes live online. You get to see it right here. First time we'll either see the engine spin over or we'll see something catastrophic. So let's go see what happens. is on, motor's right here, magic button's over here, whoa, how about that, sounds good, I'm going to put uh, plugs in and do it again. Okay, I was getting ready to spin the motor up with the spark plugs in place just to make sure it can spin it under compression, which I'm pretty sure it can. And I decided, well, what an opportunity with the spark plugs out to spin the uh, motor and check for spark. Uh, so I've, I'm making new spark plug wires. And um, this is solid core, uh, seven millimeter, a seven millimeter spark plug wire that I use. I'm using uh, Champion. Um, NY9C because they don't make N, uh, N7Ys anymore. And these are pretty darn close. If anybody's got a better suggestion, you know, as long as it's Champion, because I prefer Champion. Anybody got uh, another plug that they like better? Let me know. Go ahead and comment. Uh, these have been very good. I've used these on a lot of bikes and never had a moment's problem. I also use the, con considering I like Champion plugs, I use NKG uh, spark plug caps. These are 5K ohm uh, resistance caps, as called. These are the LB05E, which have the inside that uses the spark plug with the cap on it, the aluminum cap. So I'm gonna have to find out what I did with those aluminum caps, hang on. I have a whole drawer of them because I was using a different plug cap that just used the bare top. Uh, I don't know how I ordered the wrong one last time, but I've got, you know, 10 sets of these, so I am going to use them. So let's put these caps back on. And I make darn sure they're tight because a loose cap can cause a problem. Theoretically. All right, uh, I've already got the end on one. I'm going to put the end on the other. These are made for this job. This uh, cuts it, clips it back, pulls it off, fold it back, put this on like so, and then you use this in stages. Second stage. Third stage. And you come away with a really good crimp. Like so. Uh, putting the cap on is really easy. Um, <sighs> You're going to love this. A little bit of moisture on there. And if you want, let's use a little mother's milk. 
for the heck of a little bit of armor all on the wire for a little bit of lubrication. There's always time for lubrication. That's a real, that's, that's from a movie. The movie's called Evolution and it's really funny. If you ever get a chance to watch the movie Evolution, don't miss it, even if you can. Okay, all you do is screw this down onto the post that's inside. press this back on like so it's not slipping like it used to there we go and then this goes on here okay nice plug and as they say rinse and repeat Okay, like so. Now I have a nice set of spark plug wires, fresh plugs. I'm gonna go over there and check for spark. Hang on. All right, I've got uh, ignition on and spark plug here on the head, clamped it down with a nice ground clip. And I'm gonna hit the magic button and we should check for Spark, let's see how we go. Oh boy, did that spark it lights up the room. Let's go to the other side. spark okay good so we got good spark uh, i'm going to put the, cut the plugs into the engine now and spin it one more time okay uh, spark plugs are in i'm going to do another spin of the motor now uh, by the way even though it looks like a stock starter assist motor it's not it's a, it is apparently a uh, colorado norton works motor uh, I, I don't know if they take the stockers and beef them up from two pole to four pole or what they do, they just perform magic on them and uh, they really spin the motor nicely. So Colorado Norton Works makes a great starter for these bikes that's an actual starter. Let's see what it does with compression. Power on. Okay, that's with full compression. Uh, that's really cool. So um, we got a motor that's uh, spinning. We have the starter down here okay. My only concern in this case right now is this shaft is ever so slightly bent and I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this gear off and roll this on a flat plate and see if I can see how badly bent it is and where it's bent. If it's bent out here or bent in here and then uh, make a decision on what to do about it. Uh, I may just leave it alone. Okay. So, 
anyway, um, as soon as I get the parts that I've ordered in, I can um, rebuild the carburetors, uh, dress this thing out, and do a first start. Ain't that cool? Okay, progress is being made. All right, this slab of steel here is what I use for a flat surface, uh, just for checking things out. And, um, you know, when you're uh, trying to sand something smooth, it's nice to work on a smooth surface, smooth, flat surface. Uh, I took the gear off of this shaft and um, rolling it back and forth, I really don't see any deflection. I don't see any light underneath of it. I'm looking at this end here, which sticks out where the gear goes, and I can't see it. So either it's there and I can't see it, which is, you know, possible. It would take a machinist to see it. Or it's not there and it's just an optical delusion. So I'm going to put the gear back on it and I'm going to put it back in the motorcycle and I'm not going to look for trouble. Uh, it would cost as much to have the machinist check it out as it would to buy a new one, I'm reasonably certain. And I don't think it's going to be a problem. So I'm just going to put it back together and we will see how it shifts once we um, do a test ride. Because this is the shaft that goes from the left side of the bike all the way through to the right side of the bike to put the, sh the shifter out on the left hand side. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to put any more time or effort into it. We'll see how it goes.